My name's Gary Orfield. I'm a professor of education, law, and political science here at UCLA. Um, and I am the co-director of the Civil Rights Project, which I co-founded at Harvard University 20 years ago with Christopher Edley. Um, I'm going to talk about school integration, which has been a central theme in my work. I became involved in it during, in my first major book uh, called The Reconstruction of Southern Education, which was a study of the way in which the Civil Rights Act of 1964 ended apartheid in the schools of the South. The schools of the South, uh, there were 17 states that had legal segregation before Brown versus Board of Education. Under the Civil Rights Act, in, in a space of five years under the Johnson administration, the country went from absolute, virtually absolute segregation, 99% segregation in the South, to making the South the most integrated part of the United States by the early 1970s. It was a huge social transformation, and I saw it at the ground level, I saw it at the political level in Washington, and I saw it at the classroom level. And it was transformative in profound ways. Of course, it never happened at any serious scale outside the South because of the tremendous political reaction that took place uh, and the very slow way in which the Supreme Court reached the issue of Northern schools, saying nothing about them or about the segregation of Latinos for almost two decades after the Brown decision and then being ignored by the Nixon administration, which decided to dismantle and begin to push backwards against segregation. Much of my work has been about that dismantling and the resegregation of the country and its huge consequences as the country changed from a society that was about one-tenth uh, minority as it thought about itself to being a society that's half minority and the segregation got deeper as resegregation took place by both race and class. It was related to almost everything that happened in schools and ignored almost always in the policy discussions about school policy. So it's been my effort to keep that in front of people, in educators and in the courts and many other settings, and to f try to force us to come to terms with the fact that we give the worst schools to the most disadvantaged kids, and the great majority of those kids are poor minority kids, and they do not ever have a fair chance in education. They never get an equal opportunity. Uh, and people look, can drive across the city and not think about that at all, and policymakers can go for years without talking about it, although it's as clear as the nose on your face if you go into schools in any major city in our country. So we've been trying, in the work that we do, to produce reports that constantly confront the country with the depth of this issue, with the relationships between this and everything else that happens to young people. We've been in a society that's emphasized test scores and nothing else, basically, for 30 years or more. Um, what we're saying is, Schools need to be, prepare people for the society that we have. They need to prepare people to live and work together in a deeply racially divided society. Here in Southern California, only one quarter of the public school students are white. We have a, so four major racial groups. They're deeply unequal. And if you don't get into a good school by high school, you have almost no chance of preparing for our higher education system, which provides four-year colleges, public colleges, only for the top third of the students in our state. Now, it's what we're trying to do is to go against the grain and force people to look at something they don't want to think about. Um, but it is something that is destructive to our society, and integration is something that is one of the few things we can do in our public institutions to actually prepare people for the society that we will have. We have created a great body of research on school resegregation, school integration. People can find at civilrightsproject.ucla.edu or just Google us at Civil Rights Project. And you'll see a lot of information that you can't find anyplace else and that will raise issues that will disturb you and make you think, don't we need to do something about this? Mm -hmm.